I call the next part of the dinner special podcast, the pressure cooker. Okay. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? I'm ready. Okay. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Um, I do like to watch the Barefoot Contessa. Um, and I show I used to love to watch, but it's not on anymore, is Alton Brown's Good Eats. Of course, that's like a science-y cooking show, so you know I'm going to love that one. Um, I don't really watch any food competition shows because they kind of stress me out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I get nervous for the contestants. <laughs> yeah, they get a bit intense. Yeah, they get too intense for me. <laughs> okay, number two. What are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Um, from the 400 that I follow, right. <laughs> let's see, um, one blog that I love is, um, called Local Haven, um, her name is Ashley, and she has really, really great photography and really sort of authentic, unfussy recipes that just feel good, like when I'm on her site and look at her photos, so I think everyone should check out Local Haven. Um, I also really love Foodie Crush by Heidi. Um, Heidi has great recipes and great photography, but I think the thing that I appreciate most about her site is that she spends a lot of time talking about other bloggers and other bloggers' recipes. And I think it's really refreshing in a job where you sort of talk about yourself all the time. Um, I mean, that's really what we have to do is promote yourself. Um, so it's so nice to see somebody who is talking about other bloggers so much. And I've been introduced to a lot of new sites through her blog and, you know, now other blogs that I follow regularly. So I think that's a good one everyone should check out. And um, I love uh, How Sweet It Is by Jessica. I mean, her stuff is just so over the top and fun. And it just makes you feel good when you read it. So <laughs> Perfect. Well, number three. Who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, or Facebook that make you happy? Let's see. Um, on Instagram, I love um, Sweet Paul Magazine. He has a lot of, um, it's not just food pictures, it's food and crafts and gardening. And all the photos are really bright and fun and kind of whimsical. So it's just a really, he has a great feed. Um, I also love on Instagram all the um, sort of the meta sites like Food 52 in the kitchen, great photography, great recipes. And again, they reshare a lot of stuff from the community. So it's been a great way to connect and find new Instagram accounts and new food bloggers. Um, on Twitter, I love um, Sarah from The Sugar Hit. She is just hilarious. She has really funny tweets. I definitely recommend people checking her out. Um, and uh, yeah. Number four, what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? Hmm, unusual item in my kitchen. I really don't know, I, it's a tough one. Is there a treasure, is something that you really treasure in your kitchen? Hmm, I don't really have a lot of, I guess, the thing that would be the most treasured is I do have recipes from my great aunt that I said she was the one that was sort of the biggest cook in our family and other recipes from my grandparents and other family members. And I think those are probably the most treasured things. Just having those cards with the stains on them and the, and the handwritten notes, it's just really fun. You feel like you're cooking with them when you're, when you're using them. Yeah, it's totally different now when we have our like iPads or whatever on, on the countertop. It's like, it's totally different now. I say that part of the reason why I blog is because my handwriting is so bad. I can't even read a recipe. Basically, well, after I make something, I have to type it up right away because after like a few hours, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> so no one would ever be able to recreate anything if I didn't type it up. Right, right. I'm totally the same way. Now, number five, name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love. Hmm. I used to, well, this is a tough question because I used to just like everything. I was that kid that only ate grilled cheese and chicken for like the first, in peanut butter and jelly for like 20 years. I, and so it's very surprising now that I will eat everything. I, I think one of the main things is tomatoes. I used to hate tomatoes, raw tomatoes. I didn't like tomato sauce. I would like wipe uh, the sauce off of my spaghetti, which horrified my parents. Um, but now I love I love fresh tomatoes. 
I love making sauces and yeah, I'd say that's, that's probably. Okay. Now, number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? Um, I really like, um, Vibrant Food by, um, Kimberly Hasselbrink. Uh, it's really colorful. I want to eat everything when I flip through the pages. It's just a spectacular book that I think everybody should own. Um, I love Joy the Baker. She's one of my favorite bloggers. I love Homemade Decadence. Again, really fun and whimsical and, like, of course, totally make you hungry when you're looking at it. Um, I also love all the Adelingi books. Um, His stuff is – I don't cook from them that often because all the recipes are really involved, but just such a great source of inspiration and great photography as well. Awesome. And finally, number seven, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Um, I really like something upbeat when I'm cooking, um, like Stevie Wonder or um, Taylor Swift. I mean, anything anything with a good good beat um, deserves to be in my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, <laughs> congratulations, Liz. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. Awesome.